have to rip it all up again. Hello my loves, how are we? So, it is time for a new bedroom. Okay, <laughs> it's been five months now that we've lived in this first ever house we've ever bought, which is unreal, time absolutely flies. And our room is just like dark, dusty, minging. It's not a nice place to relax and you kind of want your bedroom to be like a really nice place to relax. <laughs> So this ended up being a really collaborative project between myself and Lewis and both of our sets of parents because when we bought our first house, obviously they're mega excited. They're like, yeah, we wanna like come help you like do renovations and stuff. And they actually ended up doing huge amounts of work on our bedroom because I was working on the bathroom at the time and that was my top priority. But obviously like if they're coming down free labor, you know, I need to give them something to do. So we decided bedroom. <laughs> So let's jump back in time to when Lewis's parents turned up to help. Okay, Lewis's parents are here, so I will pick you guys up in a bit. <laughs> so we've got Lewis's lovely parents all set up in uh, in here. Don is uh, sanding away at the wall. He literally took all the wallpaper off this wall in like 0.2 seconds. <laughs> Because it's just how I am. <laughs> it's a bit of folded piece in the pile. Yeah. <laughs> I need to watch this right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so that's just like ready now. Um, and Shirley's going to be cleaning uh, all the skirting boards and stuff, getting ready for paint. <laughs> so my vision for the room was something really like earthy and muted. And that definitely didn't involve dark purple. So um, yeah, no, that was the first thing to go. So I haven't really filmed anything over the past few days because all we've been doing is painting this room white. Well, Lewis's parents have been painting this room white. Now we're gonna go green. <laughs> awesome. I had originally planned to have half the wall fully vertically slatted with wood, but when we costed that, it was gonna be 150 pounds. So I had to come up with a way to get that same kind of feeling, but with a lot less wood. So the design that we came up with in the end is just like the basic, very standard one that you'll see around everywhere, and it only costs us 50 pounds. To make it really easy, I bought 2.4 meter lengths and I'm gonna cut them directly in half into 1.2 meter lengths so that it's super, super easy. It's literally just four cuts and then we've got eight identical lengths to make our paneling out of. So then the weekend of Lewis's parents helping us came to an end, they headed off, and then my dad and his girlfriend came and visited. I just love my dad working from home. <laughs> he was kind of on holiday, but also kind of really funny, taking calls while building his daughter's bedroom. <laughs> Hello, Fired Express. Look, short. That's nuts. That is actually nuts. There's something... They are totally short. Right, that's definitely short, so that should go to this end, right? And watch what happens next. Oh, it's longer than that one. You want to come and hold the. No, I'm too scared. My big arse when I get. No, you can't hold it. For the love of Christ, right? You were right. Paneling is honestly so easy. I think that this is a really good first DIY project. Like it gets you a really nice little taste into what like can be achieved by doing stuff yourself, but it's also just mega simple. It's literally just gluing bits of wood to the wall. Like that's it. <laughs> yeah, what were you saying at the door? Did you manage to get this? It need, just needs a hammer. Ooh. What person in the... <laughs> I actually do you know what? I can actually I can cure I can cure this. I can cure this. I, I can cure this. What PTFE did? Oh, slow it down. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just put this screw back in it. Oh Pat, that'll make me look like a robot. Do we not want to just drain it out anyway? Gonna be. Yeah, we do. We need to drain it out anyway yeah. if we're going to be yeah. cutting it. So yeah. that's so money. But it's so. going to pass. You can't get the bobby thing on your Oopsies. We have now learned that we have uh, pipes very, very, very close to the sump floor. <laughs> Right. The, re oh, the reason that um, the reason we were trying to screw that in is because it was like a wobbly floorboard, um, and we've now realised the reason that it's a wobbly floorboard is because there's pipes literally directly underneath the board, so you can't screw it down because it goes directly into a pipe. It's Oopsies. Nice. <laughs> the day's broken. We can't yeah. get on. I do believe it's crisis averted. We went and got a bunch of compression olives. Um, it's quite interesting actually. I was so sure that I was gonna do exactly this in the bathroom when I was like screwing the floor down into the bathroom and it's so funny that we've actually done it in the bedroom where there's only one pipe, <laughs> but it's fixed. Okay, I didn't actually show you how we did this fix and I want to just give you a really quick rundown of how to do it in case this happens to you because I think it's quite a common thing to happen when like people are doing house renovations and stuff. You first want to turn your water off at the stopcock um, wait until the water isn't leaking out anymore then use a pipe cutter to chomp out that bit of pipe that has the hole and then cut a new bit of pipe that is an appropriate length and then literally just use two compression joints to join the new piece back in turn back on your stopcock check for leaks let everything dry out and then put your floorboard back down it's so so simple um, and I think it's such an easy <laughs> an easy thing to do to just accidentally drill down into your pipe oops daisies but yeah that's how you fix it Boo. <laughs> okay sorry I hope I didn't scare you we didn't get to hang out at Halloween so you know I just wanted to um, anyway, I did not actually have a sponsor organized for this video So I instead wanted to tell you about something really cool that's happened to me recently I got accepted onto the stripe and stare brand ambassador program They have given me a 15% off discount code and when you guys use that code It actually supports my channel because I get commission off of every sale So it's literally a win-win-win because you get to save money on your order you get to support me financially at no cost to yourself and you get to save the planet by having compostable clothing. Fucking hello. <laughs> so I thought that I would just share that and yeah, if you wanna use it, I'll put all the information in the description box below. Okay, thank you, bye. My dad used to always have this really funny saying about public buses and it was <laughs> that they take you from where you're not to where you don't want to be at a time that you don't wanna go there <laughs> and I feel like the essence of that vibe really translates into like Facebook marketplace items that you buy because it's like it's kind of what you want but it's maybe not quite and it's almost the amount that you need but just short. <laughs> so basically we have almost enough laminate from Facebook marketplace to do this whole room but just not quite. We're like 15 boards short. So we've ordered some my hair's doing mad things today, just excuse it. We've ordered some more boards from B&Q. We've had to take a big guesstimate that that's the type of laminate that this is, but it might be completely different, but it's at least the same thickness, so hopefully they'll clip together, okay? That's getting delivered today, so I'm just going to get a little bit more of this floor down. Um, and hopefully we won't have to rip it all up again to like intersperse the different type of laminate in because hopefully the laminate will just be the right type of laminate and you will not notice a difference from the old pieces to the new pieces. I'm a really bad YouTuber and I just didn't actually film the aftermath of the replacement laminate. I don't know why, but I didn't. But <laughs> what we ended up doing was ordering like three different types of laminate and none of them were even remotely close to the original color. So we were like, do you know what? 
F this. We're just gonna use the new laminate on the area under the bed because you'll never see it and we're gonna get a big area rug which is gonna like cover any little bits that like might be sticking out. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Um, we're happy with that decision. I know that a lot of you guys are probably squirming right now. <laughs> but like, it's, it's totally fine. Listen, okay, we're happy with it. We're fine with it. Our house is rules. So you just gotta deal with it, okay? <laughs> oh dear. Like Lewis put all the furniture back in here last night and it looks 10 out of 10. I can't believe how much bigger the room looks, honestly, like, it feels like a completely different room. It feels like it is double the size of our old room. I can't believe it. <laughs> so we basically now can start decorating. Obviously we have been decorating, but like, you know, with pictures and shit. <laughs> no trims. Trims. <laughs> improvements new floor new walls new paneling some nice photos new curtains we got some actual furniture I'll do like a speed fire round of our Facebook marketplace furniture um, chair bedside tables frames actual bed frame shelf this unit well actually that was a gift Facebook marketplace 200 quid, entire room. Hell yeah. <laughs> also, really, really funny, quickly, we didn't actually end up getting rid of the light switch. Weirdly, we are just keeping it, and I don't know why. So this light switch is just with us now. I, it's kind of become a bit of an icon in this house. <laughs> but yeah, I think this room turned out so good. I actually love it. I think, like, it's very me but also very Lewis and I just love the fact that it was such a collaborative project because like every time you like look at one thing you're like oh yeah that was like you know Papa did that for me you're like oh that was like Shirley did that for me you know and it's like it's just such a nice experience to come into this house and just have this nice space that's like just ours you know yeah it's pretty sick I feel like this is what like home ownership is about just this sense of belonging that just is really fucking cool. Um, I just wanted to take a moment to give a massive, massive thank you to my parents and to Lewis's parents for helping us so much with this project. Literally, we would not have this bedroom if you guys didn't come down and give us all your free labor. So <laughs> thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you fancy. Um, next week's video, I don't actually know what it's gonna be yet. It's gonna be some sort of a vlog and we're gonna be doing something fun. So I'll see you then. Love you, bye.